What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. I got an official update on FBG Duck Chase. TZ said FBG Duck chased him with a gun. Blah, 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 blah. Tried to shoot him, tried to kill him. That's what he told D-Thing, Lil Dirk brother on the phone. Uh, the feds is gonna call three witnesses a TZ this week. It's a lot of shit happening. The Chicago Sun-Times dropped an article about, you know, what's inside of the courtroom today. They been late, they ain't been dropping articles. It's a lot of things they didn't talk about inside that article that I got some more information on. Some of it's already on the internet. I got a lot of this information yesterday, but it was so much going on that uh, we had to wait till today. But I'm gonna give you a full update right now. Hit the like button. Gold on this video, 4,000 likes. Uh, a lot of talk about what happened on the internet. Uh, the courts ain't been telling people what's going on through the news and shit. If you don't know nobody inside the courtroom or somebody giving you an update, it's kind of hard. So hit the like button. But give you a second to hit that like button. Teasy, you know, he like the main topic now. Uh, the feds claim this week they going to call three witnesses a Teasy. Teasy got witnesses. They're going to call three of his witnesses. Now, I was told one of these witnesses is one of the people who actually walked in the store with Duck. Uh, they're going to tell the story that, you know, Teasy had a problem with Duck. He been not liking Duck. And then I think one of the witnesses is going to take up the Teasy, I believe. Uh, but three witnesses of Teasy is going to get called this week. The prosecutors actually want to bring up the records of Butter, Trenches News, and everybody else. This is weird because the prosecutor normally use these guys to help prosecute O-Block. It seems like they're going to twist it around. The prosecutor's going to bring up all these witnesses' backgrounds and shit. They feel like a lot of these witnesses is weird and shit. That's crazy, though, you know, uh, to want to do something like that. I don't know if that hurts your case or anything like that, but I've seen that the prosecution want to know more about their witnesses' backgrounds and shit like that. I found that crazy. More talk about Butter was in the newspaper. Basically talking about how Butter knew King Von killed K.I. all this time. He just wasn't going to give him no credit as long as King Von was walking this earth. So think about it. While King Von was here and Duckman was here all this time, everybody knew that he had something to do with K.I. death allegedly. Nobody really talked about that. The fans, the internet talked about it. But you didn't hear Duckman saying, hey, he killed my homie. You didn't hear people saying that shit. Nobody did get Von credit. That's crazy as hell, though, you know, when you really think about that shit. Um, another thing, though, is Teasy. Uh, we finna get to him in a second. Los baby mama got a warrant out against her. Uh, they want her to come in. They finna ask her for her testimony. She was in the courtroom when she wasn't supposed to be in the courtroom. So they told her to leave. But I guess they ain't been able to get in contact with her no more. They got a bench warrant out for her. They want her to hit that stand. They want her to testify against Lowe's to find out what she's sending text messages to that car company to return that car. Because that car company said that was Lowe's and that is baby mama. Teasy. Now, security guy who seen Teasy acting crazy in front of Montclair actually got on the stand yesterday and testified. Like a Puerto Rican dude, Mexican dude. He got on the stand and he testified that while he was working in Montclair, he seen Teasy them outside acting weird as hell. You know, moving the crazy on the phone. Man, I just seen that nigga, man. That nigga just chased me, D-Dang. I seen that nigga, that nigga chased me, bro. He was blah, blah, blah. He was trying to kill me and shit. That what they said that he was doing on the phone. You know, uh, amping up D-Thing, putting the battery and old block back and shit. You know, he couldn't just say, hey, that go duck, y'all come kill him. He had to make it look like his life was almost took and all kind of shit, allegedly. And uh, they came down there. Minutes later, Duck was dead. Uh, the security guard dude said that he seen TZ and another guy actually go walk close to Duck while he was on the ground dying. The guy that was with TZ actually turned state and uh, became a government witness against TZ. So, you know, this is going to be hard. It looks like TZ had a real vendetta against Duck. You know, he set Duck up. Duck ain't even know that nigga when he walked up in there. Duck didn't know how he looked. You know, Duck was fucking on his baby mama years ago. This ain't like this shit happened last week. And he had that vendetta in his chest for a long ass time. And he called Old Block and d them and made it look like Duck just chased him. <laughs> like he running for his life and shit like that, you know, and really amped them people up. And they came and got him, you know. And, um, that's crazy, you feel me? TZ actually saying that he never called nobody to come get Duck. TZ is saying he was downtown shopping. He was calling people to pick him up because he needed a ride. The feds say he drove a car down there and they got his car. And they know that it's his car because his tickets on the car uh, from a little while ago, they had his name on it. That's crazy. So TZ actually told a story on Duck, you know? And that explains in the paperwork that TZ said he was chased with a gun. A lot of people say that ain't true. 
you know, it's no video that shows duck chasing TZ. It's none, no, no bullets that got dispersed that said duck shot at TZ. And then if duck chased TZ with a gun, why would he feel safe there? And go on another school and shit like that. So this crazy, man, it seemed like TZ had a smart plan. He knew exactly how to get done. You gotta be careful out here. That's one thing about this internet.